Yeah, you are an incomplete. You have unfinished business. I want you to understand that no second, no minute, no hour, no day is promised. This is the moment, this is the time for you to cherish yourself. It's time for you to get busy living. It's time for you to love yourself right now. I know you're in a dark place. You're in a place of pain. You're in a place of misery. You're in a place of hurt. It continues to be day after day after day. And you feel like you can't get out of that situation. You can't climb out of that rut. You can't climb up out of that hole. Relationship is bad. Life is just bad. I need you to understand that you must cherish your life. You must take a moment right now. And it all starts with your mind. It all starts with the way that you think. For way too long, you've been a pushover. You just let people walk all over you. Truth be told, you've been a pushover to yourself. You actually keep walking all over yourself. You're not respecting yourself. You're not respecting a brand of you. Today, I need you to rise up, not against everybody else. I need you to rise up against yourself. And when that negative self-talk, those demons enter into your brain, you say, no, the devil is a lie. Absolutely not. I refuse to continue to think the way you want me to think because that's detrimental to me. No. And you take that negative mindset and you flip it into a positive mindset and you repeat, I am enough. I am worthy. I love me some me over and over again until you start to believe it. Love yourself. Life is way too short. No minute, no hour is promised to us. When it's over, it's over. There are no do-overs. You don't get a second shot at this. So make sure you love yourself some you. And also, please, remember the golden rule. Yeah, do unto others as you expect them or would have them do unto you. Life will strike. Life will happen. And when it does, I need you to take a second and stop and think about the magnitude of what decision you're making or what you're about to do before you do it. Don't make it all about you. See this way too many times a, a crisis happens, a, a family situation happens. And one person, one person goes for self. They go rogue. And they forget about everybody else and they make it all about them and it affects everybody. It creates all this tension, this negative tension, this negative energy. Don't be that person. Make sure you're thinking about the collective and not just yourself. Add value to others before you add value to yourself. Sometimes it's important that you do that. Hey, we know you're not gonna be a doormat, but there are times when we need to come together as one and not make it all about ourselves. So make sure you are treating others the way you want them to treat you. Super important. Life is too short. Cherish your life and also cherish the life of others. Also, do yourself a favor. Forgive and make peace. I know. I know. What, what that person did was foul. What that person did was wrong. It, 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 was, it was unforgivable. It was unthinkable. But you got a hole in your heart. You got a hole in your soul. You got a hole in your spirit. Because you haven't made peace with it. You have to forgive that person. Not to restore. Not to be back in a relationship. Not to be back friends. Not to be back cool. But you forgive for yourself so you can be whole and complete and you can fill those holes and fill those voids. So please take a moment. You ain't got to call. You, ain't gotta, you can just do it within yourself, that inner peace. You know, I forgive this person and now I can move on and be free. And finally, leave this earth on empty. If you haven't achieved your goal, if you haven't achieved your dream, the funny thing about life is you can be messing up and messed up and jacked up. And as long as you still got air in your lungs, you still have an opportunity to achieve next level success. Don't take it with you to the graveyard. The great Les Brown said the richest place on the earth is the graveyard because it's there that you find all the hopes and the dreams and the great ideas that people were too afraid to share with us. So I need you to get up off your hind parts. And I need you to sit down and write out your plan. 
And I need you to start executing. I need you to fail. I need you to revise. I need you to keep going and keep going and repeat and repeat until you have given every ounce of your soul to tap into your wildest dreams, to tap into your greatness. You were born to be spectacular. You were born to love, live, and have a happy life. But above all else, you were born to climb over the hump of your adversity, climb over the hump of your bad days, climb over the hump of your setbacks, climb over the hump of your failures, climb over the hump of your bad relationships, and make each and every day of your life a Wednesday. Live your life, love your life, cherish your life. This is a great day to win. Let's go.